New at 10, tough questions for the man in charge of helping Minnesota's veterans. State lawmakers want answers after accusations of hostility and harassment. David Schumann is here right now to explain the fallout that's already claimed the jobs of two top officials, David. Amelia, Minnesota's Deputy Commissioner of Veterans Affairs and the Administrator of the Hastings Veterans Home were both let go over the weekend. It's the Hastings Home that's at the center of the reported problems, and tonight the VA's commissioner had to explain how are things going to get better. The workplace is hostile. There's a, a concern about retaliation. How did we get to this place without having addressed it earlier? You're at the top of the food chain, and this all happened under your watch. Lawmakers grilled Minnesota's Veterans Affairs Commissioner about how he's improving things at the Hastings Veterans Home. The challenge was there, it seemed like the culture, there just was something not correct there, and it was not. Uh, uh, a positive environment to work in. VA officials say the home is for veterans experiencing homelessness or mental or physical health challenges who may have nowhere else to turn. Former workers there testified to issues like inadequate protective equipment, being overworked and depressed, and roadblocks to advancement for BIPOC staff and women. Senior leaders in the health care division have been aware of the long-term issues that have affected care in veteran services for years. I know this because I told them. We spoke to several people who live here at the home, and while some of them say it's understaffed, they also said that everything being talked about at the Senate hearing doesn't really affect them. The ones we talked to were happy with the care and services they've been receiving. The outcomes for our residents there have been continuing to be positive going forward. In my opinion, at no time were the residents uh, in a situation where we had lacked the staffing or the capability to actually take care of the residents. So the VA commissioner says they're redoing harassment and anti-bullying training. Also notable, sitting in the audience listening tonight was the deputy commissioner who was let go. He told me after he feels he's a scapegoat in all of this. All right, David, thank you.